Why do I have so much facial hair and I had chemotherapy? Well, as a patient having had chemotherapy, I don't feel like I have a lot of facial hair. However, I do understand the question um, because this, the thought is when you have chemotherapy um, that you lose all your hair, specifically um, at the dose that I had because I had a higher dose than what uh, is typically, and I guess it really isn't a typical because it's always based on what your circumstances are. And, begin, and again, because I had such an aggressive cancer, we had to go with an aggressive um, treatment. Um, I don't know why I have hair. Um, I do still have my eyebrows and I probably have like 12 <laughs> eyelashes on each eye. You can barely see them, but I know that they're there. Um, I have no idea why I have them, but I don't have hair anywhere else. I mean, my arm, I, I never really had hair on my arms or my legs. I was very fortunate in that sense. And so when my hair fell off, I didn't even notice that the hair had fallen off. But I knew it had fallen off because when you lose hair in areas that you used to have hair in, that skin is extremely soft everywhere <laughs> it's extremely soft and so um the phlebotomist every time i go to get my blood taken they always say oh my gosh your skin is so soft and and so i just say thank you but you know and, and so that's the first time they said it to me i was just like to myself i didn't say it out loud i thought oh i don't have hair on my arms at all you know and so my hair was so fine before that you know you couldn't really see it and so that's why i didn't notice i didn't have hair anywho i digress just a little um i have no idea why i still ha have eyebrows and the 12 <laughs> eyelashes that i have on each eye however i thank god for those because I don't draw very well and my husband don't doesn't draw very well so I, now let me say my husband is unbelievably intelligent my husband is one of the smartest people I know and I love him dearly however if either he or I drew my eyebrows on I promise you I would always look startled <laughs> and probably one would be way higher than the other and i would probably have a really nice arched eyebrow and one going like catty corner <laughs> something so i think it was you know with all that i'm going through god said you know what let me just spare this poor child one thing you know people are going to be looking at her already because she doesn't have hair she doesn't have breasts i don't want people to be looking at her face thinking who drew those on her face? <laughs> so I maybe that was what it was. I don't know because you know the other option, if it weren't me were for me or my husband to draw, it would be my daughter drawing it. So you know she's gonna want to <laughs> color in. <laughs> no. <laughs> so um, you know, I don't know. I just caught counted all joy, whatever the case may be. So yes, I chemotherapy does take your hair out and that was one of the first things that my doctor said she said prepare so you know I had long my in fact my hair was probably down to here I had I always kept it in two strand twists because I was natural um, but when I pulled my my braids or my twist down it was down to here it had grown so much <clears throat> anywho it'll grow back um, but I cut them off really short probably this short and then then I, I cut it again, you know, really, really short, um, just to prepare for it, you know, when it was going to fall out. And so, because the doctor told me, she said, your hair is absolutely going to fall out. And then after I cut it, I was like, well, what if it does it? Um, well, it, obviously it did. Um, but as for my face, um, I don't know. And so I don't think your nose hair is fall out i don't know why but i still have my nose hairs um but that is it it's gone everywhere else and so i know this is going to be kind of disgusting to say but of course you know I, I lost my underarm hair well i didn't have any i mean because you know it was it was what was december when i had my first treatment but you know i i um 
wax. So I, I didn't have hair under my arm anyhow, anyhow. And so it just never grew back, you know, once I started chemotherapy. And so, you know, my pubic hair, I also waxed there, but I hadn't waxed um, in about a month. <laughs> don't tell anybody um but anywho um so of course that came out um and shh, between my cheeks you know like everything is like it's completely baby smooth clean there's nothing nothing anywhere um no hair on my legs but again like i had my hair on my legs was so 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 fine so thin you couldn't see it i mean everybody already thought that i um, waxed or shaved or what have you so that's it i have no idea why i don't why it didn't come off my why my eyebrows didn't come i think they thinned out just a little because they were a little bit thicker they've always been kind of thin they were a little bit thicker than this but as far as eyelashes like i probably have like i said maybe can you see them like maybe 12 <laughs> um or 13 um but yeah i don't have eyelashes um but there's no hair anywhere else on, on my body other than inside my nose and so that you know those hairs are protectors to keep trash from you know, you know, you remember that science stuff. I think we learned that like in fifth grade or whatever. Anywho, I have a beautiful day. It's Friday. So yay for the weekend. Every day is the weekend for me because I'm always at home, you know. But I'm going to be, I'm, oh, I'm going back to work. Like, so I'm expecting, I'm hoping, I'm praying, I'm, because I need money. Um that they're going to release me to go back to work and I'm expecting to be able to go back to work next week. Yay. Um, love you guys. Talk to you later. Mm -hmm.